Thank you for watching True Vine Victor Hour, located here in New Britain, Connecticut, 477 Ellis Street, where Jesus is Lord and everybody is somebody. Reverend Walter Simmons, Pastor, Co-Pastor Evangelist Priscilla Simmons. Our order of service, Sunday school, Sunday morning, 9.30 a.m. Morning worship service, 10.30 a.m. Wednesdays, 6 p.m. prayer and Bible class combined. Program airing time is 6 o'clock p.m. every Sunday, Channel 5, Nutmeg TV. We are God creation. We are all created with a deep thirst for God in our heart. An empty longing that only God can satisfy. We try to quench that thirst with so many things. Significant success, comfort, peace, wisdom. But all these things, however, is good cannot meet our deepest needs. At the root of it, we thirst for our closeness to our Creator, God Almighty. Our goal is to continue to reach the lost at any cost. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and visit the sick and shut in. Help our youth or tomorrow find the peace which passes all understanding and a new way of life. Feel the great commandment and great commission. What it means to be built and a disciple of Christ. Our goal is to help one to live a disciple life, to inspire, motivate, and equip every member with the right tool for making disciples of Christ in all our nations. True Vine is committed to leading the way for everyone to fulfill their calling in Christ Jesus equipping Christians to be disciples of Christ. And if you have never invited Christ into your heart, today is the time. The Lord said today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Let me through thy darkness, thy light to see. Lead me, oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. I Lord, if you take your hands from me, I am blind without your light to see. Lord, your soul will let me your servant lead me, oh Lord, lead me, lead me. Along the way, oh, if you leave me, I cannot stray. Oh, let me walk each day.
And you don't get 90 just by saying, I'm going to get to 90. You get to 90 because you have to hold on to something. We may want to be 90, but you have to hold on to something or right. someone in order to see that. I know the significant other is right here next to him, but it's not there. You got to hold on to God. To see that. It's the only way that you can do it, you got to hold on to something. And just not to hold on to it, but to have faith. And that's the most important thing. Because 90, he's seen a lot of things. Mm. Yeah. We're talking, you know, I got two history books here. I always talk about my two history books. But the history books are very special for us because as we ask questions of them, they can tell us the truth. Yeah. They can tell us the facts. This is a person who's went through wars, he's went through change, he's went through a lot of things. Yeah. You've seen the one thing that most of us we're so special to see. You know, the first black person of this country. That's a blessing by itself. For the young people here, that's a blessing by itself. Amen. Because at his age, to be honest, he didn't really, really believe that he was going to see him. So God, you know, it's a blessing to each and every day. And we appreciate God for blessing to you. But you also are not. It's definitely a blessing. And for our young people, we have to understand also, most importantly, that we have to appreciate and respect our elders. Because they are special people. You may call them old, but they're not old. Because he can still get up and he can still walk around. And he can still think and he can still talk. And for some of the young people, he can probably do a lot more than what you think they would make. So we have to make sure that we give that respect to them each and every day. No matter how old you are, we pass it on to those that are a little older than us. Your parents, that's an important thing. That's something that's important to have as we go through our life, is that respect to those who do just a little bit more than us. That has a lot more wisdom. Because once again, you don't get the same, but just, I use the term by being dumb. You gotta have a little wisdom. You gotta be wise. And you got a nine button say, no, it takes a lot of wisdom. Yeah. So that, that's my little speed. I used to have a cool thing every that happened in 1927. Uh, I wish I still had it. But the lot that's went down between that time and this time. Mm -hmm. you know, for, all, for us, that we don't understand it, but the same. He's went through, think about it like this uh, for the young people. Television, black and white television, radio, all of those things that have been invented between then and now. The computer, he was born a little bit after the airplane, but he's seen the jet fly across the, the Atlantic Ocean. We take those things for, for granted. But this is a man who's come through all that, he's seen all that. First hand, when it was big time news, for us, we don't even think about that. But at that time, that was big news. It was big news when you went from black and white television to a color television. It was big news when you had a television at your house. And it was also big news if you also had a radio in your house. Back in that time, right now, we don't even think about it. You hold on to that cell phone. But back at that time, when you had a radio in your house, you, you were big time. You were the big person on the block. And if you had color television, you were a little special. So, those are some things that have come along during that period of time. Our lesson today is entitled, Call <coughs> Break Down Barriers. Right. Kind of broken for the day also. Everything that's gone on in our news, you know, we think some of those barriers have been broken down. But they're, they're still there. And in our particular lesson, it's more so about what God has to do to us than anything else. Because sometimes we do certain things, but we have to understand that God kind of controls certain things that happen to us. And as I was reading some of the scripture, especially during that period of time, when a lot of it, I'll use the term disciples, because there's a difference between disciples and apostles. The disciples are all followers. And apostles are those that were taught by God, or by Jesus at that time. 
And this was the time after Jesus' death that you know everything was going after. And the reading is going to be from um, Acts the um, eight chapter twenty six chapter to thirty nine verse. And I want to read this one from the the eight chapter the twelfth verse. And it says this. It says this regular English. Um, but when they believed Peter, when they believed Philip, as he preached the good news of the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Simon himself believed, and Simon was just a different type of Simon, he was a sorcerer, believed and was baptized. And he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. Well, that part sounds good. But sometimes you have to understand what's in your heart. Because sometimes you see certain things, you may want to grasp out of it, but your heart's not in the right place. And this is this, this particular, this particular Simon, his heart wasn't in the right place because he was seeing all the things that he could talk about. Because sometimes we think we can talk about anything. But you forget about your heart's got to be right no matter what you do, your heart's got to be right. You, know, you do anything with God, your heart's got to be in the right place. Last when we took the uh, communion, our hearts are to be in the right place. Right. Because in the night and right before the place, that's not a good thing. And sometimes people will take advantage because they see something and they see a money man. In this particular assignment, he saw a money man. I'm into less than a minute, so I get into the coupon list. And it says this. This is the 18. It says, when Simon saw that the spirit was given at the land of on the apostles' hands, he all good, long life. Hundred and twenty, amen. Come on. Amen. amen. You can't tell it. Let me tell it. Come on. Amen.
that's what gets me when I see these people so holy than that one. Amen. <laughs> New York. That was about the worst one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Run into all kinds, all types, everything. God's good. I remember I wanted to even also go in the military. My daddy had a word for the military. He said, I don't want you to come out and be one of them. And I said, what? So therefore, I had to buy pants. Military. But it's all what you taught and in the mind. Amen. You know? We let ourselves go because sometimes we want to be like the world. That world don't mean nothing. We in the world now. But we not all the world. And God made a promise to us. For us and our children and our family. But you just hold on. Hold on to God unchanging. Amen. 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 Just pray that they don't Pray to God, keep them covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 I hear Brother White talking. You don't want to get on that crack. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get on none of that. Mm -hmm. That was a family member that could, they had a $3,000 habit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everything you got. You wouldn't know you was numbing God mm -hmm. until you done got done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's nothing to play with. Amen. And I tell all the young ladies, be careful. Amen. Be careful. Because I'm going to tell you, some of them guys out there, mm -hmm. Know how to get you hooked. Yep. They got you hooked. They get another one hooked. Mm -hmm. They get another one hooked. Amen. Once after they get them hooked, when they run out, they run to you. They run to the next one. Mm -hmm. They run to the next one. Keep running. Amen. Nothing new under the sun. Amen. Because they tell you you pretty, mm -hmm. you keep, let them keep that. Amen. That don't mean nothing. Know. Nothing. Stay close to God. Amen. Try Jesus. Amen. Because once you start sticking up, that's it. Be careful because you don't know who's supposed to be your friends. Amen. Amen. Might be doing it. You don't know. Amen. Amen. My girlfriend and I, we had a friend. We thought that it was okay. Everything was all right. We go down in Chile, down in New York, in the city. I always had to, I'm going to tell this quickly, and we got to just keep moving. I always liked to run. They had to stall in the bathroom. <laughs> One, two, three. We're going to stick together now. Mm -hmm. I always like to be the one that runs in the middle. You just don't know what you do when you're when you, when you growing up. Mm -hmm. You do some stupid, some foolish things. <laughs> stupid things. But the foolish thing of the world, the Lord said, come find me wise. And I used to no get up on the stool, look this way. Look this way. Jump back down. I don't know how to tell you. Jump back down. But this particular night when I jumped up there and looked, and I saw him doing this long tile of rubber. Oh no. Mm -hmm. And sticking that up. Oh no. I came down real easy. <laughs> and wow, sit down. Hmm. And then turn around and flush the toilet. <laughs> 
my stomach, something was wrong. I couldn't wait to come out. So I just came out. As soon as Barbara came out, I went to her. I said, well, we need to go. She said, no, we got to go. No, we need to go now. Yeah. Because it's <laughs> I say, I say, and blood came back in the middle. She said, what? I said, yes. I said, she just stick us and then get us messed up. <laughs> she said, well, let's wash our hands and then we're going to tell her that we're going to go. <laughs> we washed our hands and we told her we were going back to Brooklyn. And she said, no, not right now. We said, yes, we got to go. I said, because my mother coming to pick me up tomorrow. We got back out of the bathroom. She said, I'll pay for the taxi. I said, you going to pay for the taxi? She said, yes. I said, OK, good. Come on, come on, Barbara. We got to go. She went there. She got us a taxi. I don't know what she did, what she did, but the taxi was taking us back to Brooklyn. Amen. We got back to our apartment. You know they have the letters when you come up, you can come up the windows and stuff. They don't have a home, but they might not have them now. You know they have a pole that you put up under the door. Keep somebody from coming in. But we got back there and we got windows. <laughs> we did bars. And we were just there, we were just sick. It was fighting. Because we didn't know if it could happen to us. Amen. And how were we going to cut her loose? That was the thing. I said, Barbara, I hate to leave you, but as soon as mother get here, I have to go. You hear? And when she came knocking on that door early that morning, I'm sorry. We could not let her in. Amen. Amen. So you gotta be careful, and you gotta have wise, and you gotta be wise, and you gotta think. Amen. That could have led us to the same thing. Be careful who you follow. Amen. Be careful who's your friend. Amen. 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 Young people, you don't have to go that way. You don't have to be the worldly way. Because right now you're in the house of God. Amen. And by your parents, you cover covered with blood. Listen to what they tell you. You might not like it, but accept it. Don't reject it. That fussing, that you call it fussing, that correction, it's for your benefit. Amen. And you'll be thankful Amen. in the years to come. And you can be blessed like our pastor. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, you can live a long life. Mm -hmm. Amen. That alcohol is no good because once after your liver, yes, Lord. once after that's gone, mm -hmm. you're gone. Just a little bleeding, you can hang it up. Amen? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Amen? Amen. Amen. And don't give up on each other. Give out, but don't give up. Amen? Somebody kept going praying for us. Yes, Amen. Now, your brother White says, watch. That mouth. That mouth will get you in trouble. Amen? Amen. I've known a few kids that have gotten their mouth, and that mouth have gotten them in big trouble. Watch what you say to your parents. Obey your parents in the Lord, that it may go well with thee. Honor thy father and thy mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Amen.
He didn't say whether it was a good mother. It didn't say whether it was a bad mother. It didn't say whether it was a good father. It didn't say whether it was a bad father. He said, honor thy father and thy mother that your days may be long. Brother White said, I saw a young man and I told him, I said that that's disrespectful to your mother. And he mumbled something else to her and said where he was going, left out of that house. It wasn't 10 minutes. It was not a hole, and I'm trying to figure out now to the day, it was not a hole how the car going to flip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and catch on fire. Yep. God does not play. Mm -hmm. He is God Almighty, the creator and maker of this universe. Amen? Amen. And with our world the way it is now and our leaders, it's going to get worse. Yes, it is. It's going to get worse. And the only thing as children of God, all we can do is pray. Pray. Amen. Amen. Pray. Amen. Amen. And if we don't have love when we come together to pray, nothing is going to get done. Amen. Nothing. That's it. Read your Bible. Yeah. Right there. Right there. God gave me Matthew chapter 24 and told me to give it to the church. That was it. Every time you give a word, there it is. And you look, you surely come into pain. Amen? Amen. Amen. And who don't want to live a long life? Able to get up, move around. And guess what? Got his driving license removed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Woo. And now, you want to get back under the wheel. <laughs> <laughs>